Hello everyone, today I will show you how to undervolt your colorful laptops to avoid unnecessary heating while gaming. So for this open search and search for edit power, edit power plan. Then open the settings. As you can see here, I have some of the power programs that are created by myself and uh, basically today I will show you how to edit your power plan according to the gaming session so here first open the graphics setting in of Intel and set it to maximum battery life because we don't want the GPU power of our CPU to draw out and here copy my settings and set the minimum power and the maximum pro processing power to 50 and click on apply and ok as we know that the games are gpu intensive so cpu does not play an important role for tweaking our laptop we require intel extreme tuning utility and msi afterburner and now heading to the settings that we have to do in extreme tuning utility first open this and here you can see that i have colorful laptop and all the specifications of my processor and GPU are mentioned here but in this colorful laptop we are just limited to, as it does not support undervolting but undervolting can be done which is similar to undervolting here you can limit it to 30 watts so that it draws out less power and I am sorry for the wrong zooms, zoom ins and zoom outs because I am uh, kind of new with this type of editing so as you can see I have applied the 30 watt TGP limit and now the CPU will not use up to 30 watt as my CPU usually consumes 45 watts of TGP the rest of the settings are logged in this BIOS by colorful I don't know why but other laptops usually support undervolting now we will use MSI afterburner which can be used for overclocking as well as underclocking our GPU and here only use the settings which I have provided because overclocking recklessly can damage your device system internal parts and I have tried different uh, different overclocking techniques so the best range I got was 100 MHz power clock and 300 MHz memory clock and for undervolting you can simply just drag it to the most left and I am telling you this because I have done overclocking beyond this limit and some kind of random pattern was appearing on my screen that was actually the uh, malfunctioning of GPU so this is the safest range that I have found and next head towards the control center which is the gaming menu provided by colorful so here as you can see we have multiple modes i recommend you to use entertainment mode with a 10 percent increment in fan speed now heading on to the gameplay comparison section here i have two categories first is normal means stock performance and the second one is undervolted means that your CPU is undervolted but your GPU is overclocked so as we can see that the undervolted combo is sometimes performing well than the normal stock performance because we are limiting our CPU so that it does not throttle much whereas if it will throttle much so it will surely result in the decrement of FPS and here is the gameplay of prices now moving on to battlefield 1 all the games that are being tested by me are on ultra pro max extreme graphics setting to maximize the cpu and gpu load
while I was playing BMG drive, I didn't saw too much difference in the temperature as both was same and normal as well as undervolt condition. Uh, it can be due to the optimization of game. And now moving on to PUBG PC as you can see there is a huge difference in the temperature from normal scenarios to undervolted. Normally your temps goes to 90 degree above 90 to 95 degrees Celsius and in the undervolted conditions your temp is about 70 to 75 degrees Celsius. As you can see it is uh, approximately 20, F 20 degrees Celsius drop. So it is nice in these kinds of games and the FPS are also similar. We can see that the combination of undervolting CPU and overclocking GPU is maintaining the temps so nice and giving almost the same FPS as the normal and sometimes more than the normal settings. So as my final verdict, I think that undervolting your CPU really pays off in the laptop and if you are willing to buy uh, the laptop stands which has uh, um, fans in it, so I would recommend you not to buy that because our CPU and GPU fans are enough to provide subsequent temperature drops and even if you use fan it will only result in 1 to 2 degree celsius drop and it will also cost you more money than inventing a simple stand or placing some object beneath your laptop so that you can elevate it so if you like the video please subscribe and support me and i will create more videos regarding your concerns for this laptop if you want to buy or not and I will give solutions and answer to your questions. So till then, I'll meet you next time in the next video. Bye bye.